Yo, what's going on, guys? Power Pros World Koshien game number seven coming up. We got the Oops All Kanegis going up against Cash Money, Dishnet 34, I Pump Plastic, two Power Pros World Discord veterans going up against each other. We're going to be seeing things from Dishnet's perspective here. I Pump Plastic's second game of he, of course, took down uh, Compass with the Brazosport exporters. 12 to 0 last game. This is going to be Dish's first. So I, I bet you Dish is a little bit nervous. We get a good look at the Emmy Kanegis filling, filling up the stadium here. And uh, they're going to come out on top. So the cash money high is going to be swinging it first. We'll likely see Silver on the mound. And then we've got probably Bonds Buck here starting out here. So Bonds Red Mood, Kanegi Yellow Mood. Right off out of the gate, fat like just you know, unfortunate time pitch. Dish is uh, doing not doing press twice pitching, so we might see a couple of those if they get a little bit nervous here. So bonds right out of the gate, hot ground ball here to short, and that will be out number one. So we now have Buck up to the plate with the yellow mood. There comes a, what I believe is a slow curveball. Yep, slow curveball from Kanegi buried, but just barely a strike. We got 0-1. Very low location as well. So Dish is known to be very surgical on the mound. One of the better pitchers uh, in the entire Power Pros World Discord. Very patient with his pitch placement. Also very patient at the plate too. So let's see if uh, the pace, the tone, the way in which he pitches here against iPub Plastic throws him off a little bit. Let's see how he does. So there is the first hit though for Cash Money right on cue as I talk about how Dish might actually keep him off balance. So I think that, I believe that was Wage that got the hit. E-Speed though there. And now we've got Fund who is one of the better hitters in this entire tournament, which we've talked about quite a bit. We saw, I think, Fun hit that home run high inside pitch like that one before. Here comes a slow curve, and that will end the inning. So uh, Kanegi 3 gets out of it here, is able to uh, hold eye pump plastic and cash money off here. Now we take a good look at Silver, 1-8-2 ERA. Uh, the number one ERA in the training arc of the entire uh, of all teams uh, and, and the 11th batting average as well so silver will be tough to beat got that very interesting arm angle and there is a curveball here I think I think he has a slow curveball level 7 slow curveball we'll have to take a peek at that here in a bit but ground ball to loans at short all right, 0-1. Here comes two fastballs in a row, high inside. We're gonna to get to be seeing what Dish is doing. Looks like Dish is reacting, and he cannot react accordingly to the vertical slider. So that'll be 0-2. Now Kanegi 5 coming up to the plate. The shoot ball. This is one of iPump's deadliest pitches, that high inside, low inside shoot ball. Let's see how much we see of that. All right, so slow curveball is tapped. Loans will make the play. And that will be it here as two boxers dancing each other uh, around each other here in the ring. So Kanegi 3 comes back here, low away, perfect little dot, just straddling the strike zone. And we've got Stocks here who's going to try and get something going. Pump's able to get to that. Not much uh, power on it, though, so that won't uh, necessarily get out of the infield. Gets into the outfield grass, but uh, the shortstop, one of the Kanegis, is able to pull that down. All right, we've got 1-0 here to Silver. Like we said before, Silver, the 11th best batting average in the entire training arc. 390 with 9 home runs, 35 RBIs, and 5 stolen bases. Sees across the board. He's got the 2 trajectory. So let's see what he can do here. 2-1 pitch coming, and I think that might fall. So there it is. You get to see that batting average on display. That is hit number 2 for cash money, and that'll bring us to gold. As you can see, Dish is really trying to slow the pace here, slowing things down. Smooth, methodical, really thinking things through. Pace of this game so far is in Dish's control. 0-2 coming up here. There goes the, the, the steal. Silver will get there. Perfect time by Eye Pump Plastic. And that will be two outs, though, with the runner on second for the Benjamins. It's all about the Benjamins 
Here comes the one the one zero pitch. It'll be a strike for one zero. And here comes a change up that he might have got into. No, he will not. Kanegi twenty four pulls it in. That is three. So scoreless here. Moving on to the bottom of the second. Kanegi four fourth batter coming up to the play here. Nice little cutter, high inside cutter. So far, I pump's been been pushing him in as you can see here almost every pitch being inside except for the off speed away high inside shootouts high fastballs low fastballs and then the inside vertical slider that starts high and drops lows so there you go so this is uh what we're seeing is the game plan right now here i think he's trying to force dish to swing a little bit early so once they are a little you know very much late on that that hard cutter uh, and now we've got 0-2, Silver still dealing. That, and once again, high inside fastball cannot catch up to it. And that will be out number three. I think Dish has got a challenge uh, pump here. I think he's got to realize that pump is just going to be busting him in early in the count. Really going to try and force him to, to read the pitch quicker, to make reactions quicker. Uh, and try and put the ball uh, very well in play and prove to him that he can hit that pitch before he starts to see outside pitches. All right, 2-1, Kanegi settling here, 156 kilometers per hour. And swings through that rare miss by eye pump. That looked like that was that was uh, going to be blasted here, but I think, that, I think that Dish is, as you can see here, Dish is not pitching uh, right at the edge of the zone or... or uh, outside of it because he knows that uh, you know here with no lock on one of the steadiest hits that you can get is one where you jam the PCI the most difficult pitches to hit are the ones that actually are maybe you know a couple you know centimeters or inches off of the plate one way or another because you have to have that very steady precise PSI so take a lesson from dish here it comes from the EPL he he knows what he has to do here in lock on and he's executing very well against I pump plastic I pump though all right pop up here on a 2-1 slow curve not able to 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 put it in play uh well he puts it in play but not able to get a hit here we got oh two and there is another missed pitch so two of those so far both of them ended up outside of the zone Swings through the changeup. He might have dropped the PCI a little bit um, underneath it. Uh, maybe missed it. And he sits on that maybe a bit too much. Kanegi, one of the Kanegis makes a jump there at first. I think it's what, that's the fourth batter Kanegi. I don't remember what Kanegi that is though. 28. So 28 will pull that in. And wow, cash money has two hits. Silver still throwing the no-no here in the bottom of the three but the score is zero zero so we've got an intense game on our hands so once again pounding inside here let's see if dish is going to start to cheat the pci there or if he's going to stay content with just reacting with the pci in the middle that is going to be a one here comes kanegi 23 not able to get to that high inside fastball we got an oh one count from silver now, finally gets something outside, but that's going to be way off the plate. Kanegi 23 is an outside hitter. Ooh, Dish was all over that. He probably could have took a swing. 1-2 pitch. Here comes the Shudo. That might squeak through. It will not. Fund will get there. And that will be out number two here in the third. Kanegi 3, the star of the team. Kanegi 3 coming up to the plate here. Kanegi 3, uh, you know, did okay hitting-wise. Uh, here in the training arc, Kanegi three with the 250 batting average, one home run, 10 RBIs. Nothing to run home about, but you know, essentially as an FF hitter, uh, did her job on the mound and at the plate. But soft ground ball here to third, and that will be the end of three. Still hitless. Kanegi three gets back onto the mound for wage. I think uh, Pump's still trying to fill out Dish. I don't know if they've actually played in a PvP game before. Just underneath that changeup. I think he's going to... Uh, he, I think he may be uh, cluing into adjusting to what Dish is doing. Dropping that PCI. It looks like we got a power swing coming from Fund. Oh, and that's it very well. He reads it. He sees it. That's going to be a double for Fund. First extra base hit here in this game so cash money will get the three hits fun gets to to second here 
uh, on a nice little double. Here comes a slow curve, and that might go over the infield and fall. Will Kanegi 4 be able to throw them out at home? Here comes the throw, and he's in there. Wow, cash money gets ahead, 1-0. Heads up base running two as Stocks moves to second. Silver now up, still trying to keep this thing going. Two missed pitches in a row. Wow, rattled here against Silver. And now we've got a 3-0 count. Silver likely only swinging at something that looks good to them. Going to let that one go. 3-1, here comes the change up low or maybe a, a sinker low and now we've got runners on first and second wow that is a very close pitch a dot from Kanegi. Kanegi throws the slow curve dish is gonna let that go one one sorry pump's gonna let that go now soft ground ball but luckily that just goes foul now we got a one two count the steal on the changeup throws behind the runner does not get him though and we've now got two runners on first and second with two outs for Benjamin, can Benjamin's bring in stocks here? Who started it here uh, uh, by getting in that run? I would say Fund actually started it, but Stocks cashed in, and I think he did. He might get two runs here. The Negi Four might, does not have the arm. It is now three zero, cash money. So cash money pouring it on here in the fourth. Now we've got Loans, who's going to hit one to Kanegi Twenty Five, and that will end the inning. But uh, the damage has been done. And now we're at the top of the order with Kanegi 4. All right, low outside fastball from Silver. Now back in high inside. Gonna be fouled off. All right, here comes the Shudo. Hits it. Uh, not able to get to that. Now 1-2. Silver gets him to swing at a high, just normal fastball. We haven't seen the high effort fastball from Silver yet. Probably not going to see too much of those. But wow, the high vertical slider doesn't uh, doesn't drop as much as it does low in the zone. It really tricks you there. And there's a good pitch by Silver to start things out with the low away Shudo. Then the slow curveball buried. Dish watches it 1-1. One, one. On time, or I should say good good PCI placement for the fastball, but a little late. That will be 3-1. All right, so as you can see now, Dish is starting to cheat a little bit. Moves over to power, then switches off. Back to power again. Oh, he guessed right, but that will be a ball. Good idea to watch that one. One, two. Oh, just hits over the top of that slow curveball. Now we've got a one-two pitch. Switches over to contact. A little jiggly with the PCI. Swings above the shooto. What are we going to see here? High inside fastball, Dish fouls it off. Reacting pretty well here against Silver. Oh, I think that might have been a cutter. Uh, out, yeah, cutter way off the zone, one, two. Connects on the vertical slider, but Bonds is there. Too much of it, got too much of it. Uh, it carries up there. So five hits, three runs for cash money here coming up to the plate. But uh, here through five, Silver has not given up a hit. Here we go. So 1-1 one, one here to Bonds. Kanegi still trying to deal to keep her team in it. Kanegi 22 is going to make the play. That's going to be out number one. Now we'll see Buck come up to the plate. Buck had a pretty outstanding uh, training arc as uh, as we you know have talked about you know here in the past. Uh, one of the better hitters uh, throughout the entire training arc. Uh, 15, tied 15th in RBI, second in stolen bases, 337 with one home run, 25 RBIs. Not going to get enough of it here uh, and, and pulled down here at second base for third hitter Wage, who comes out swinging as a pop-up to Kanegi 4. And that will end the inning. Moving on to the bottom five, we've got Kanegi 28, the four hitter. Lane first base just drops the PCI underneath that fastball. That would have been the pitch to hit. Uh, behind on the cutter. Somehow looked jammed a little bit, even though it moved barrel side. And now we've got one out here. Another cutter again. Uh, another great opportunity for Kanegi to try and get things going. Let's that Shudo stay out there. That's a great pitch by Silver. 
vertical slider inside here. So we're starting to see a, a little bit of patience from Dish. He's he's able to to recognize some of those pitches. And we now have two two. Fouls off the vertical slider. And here comes the pitch. Oh, he freezes him. I don't think that was high effort. Just a normal fastball, but great location. Now Kanegi six watches that shootout. That shooter right there been been giving Dish the fits. And backed up here with an inside fastball. It's going to be a great combination. 1-1. One, one. There's a shootout again. Benjamins will pull that thing in. And that is... 3-0. So, and Fun going to receive a slow curveball back into the back into the zone. Kanegi 3 starting out hot. Oh, 1. That might fall. I don't think Kanegi 5 is going to get there right over the outstretched glove of Kanegi 25 and now Stocks going to try and make something happen with Fun here at first. So, here we go. 3-0. 6 inning runner on first base. Fun's got a little bit of speed, and there he goes. Takes off. Might have got hosed at second. He did. Tries to steal on the fastball. Questionable call by Pump. Uh, but maybe he thought the slow curve was coming. And so now we got a 1-2 for Stocks, who's going to try and hit. He does. He That would have been the runner moving to first to third on that changeup. So w instead, though, we'll have one out. Stocks on first. Uh, with uh, Silver now up to the plate. Going to try and make something happen. Watches the low away hard slider. 1-1 one, one pitch on time. A little bit late, but still that will work. On time, though, on location with the PCI. Silver gets yet another hit. And now Gold going to try and make something happen here. 1-2. Here comes the pitch. He's there. This might be a double play. 28 throws to 22 to three and that will end the inning or end the half inning moving on to the bottom of the sixth Negi 24 gonna uh, try and break the ice here and she does wow able to sit on what looked like a missed location of that curveball that had a lot of plate uh, and now dish breaks the ice getting his first hit for the oops all Kanegi's team here in the bottom of the sixth. So we've got Kanegi 24 on first. And here comes the steal. It will be a hit and run. So will stay out of the double play. But that will be one. Works just like a bunt. And now Kanegi 3. Got to try and put her team in position to continue to score some runs. Shoot ball high inside. That will be strike number one. Kanegi. Oh no. Underneath a fastball was the eyes lit up and just missed the PCI placement. Two out to see if Kanegi 4 can get that. Uh, Kanegi, uh, sorry, Kanegi, can Kanegi 4 hit in Kanegi 24 here at second? Two fastballs low inside here. Let's see what we're going to see here. Probably a shoot, a steal. An interesting steal situation, but that will be out three. Runner does not come in score. We got three more chances. For Dish here to try and score three runs. Just got that single hit off of Silver. Now Benjamin's coming up to the plate. Uh, probably going to try and work Kanegi 3 out of the game here. Look how low that stamina is. I know Pump is probably looking at that. Doesn't want to take any chances. He's already got a little bit of a win. He's only going to be sitting for a pitch that he's you know, waiting for, sitting on. Uh, and also going to try and work the count. So we've got loans up here. For 0-1, here comes the the 1 shoot ball from Kanegi 3. Loans will take a hack at it, but Kanegi 22 gets it, and that will be out number 2. Back to the top of the order with Bonds. Here comes the fastball for Bonds. Going to let that go. 152 kilometers per hour. And now for the hard slider. Low away. That's just a regular slider. And so... Uh, usually we've seen Pump take a swing at that, but like I said, he's being way more patient. Going to swing at the slow curve. Oh, wow. Kanegi 4 does not get to it. Probably could have dove. That ball wouldn't have got too far, and he had the right fielder coming up to get support. But now Bonds is on the move. Barely safe at second. So now Buck has a runner in scoring position. He's going to just get underneath one, but that'll be 3. Kanegi 4 pulls it in. 
And that is the top of the seventh. Moving on to the bottom of the seventh. Nine outs left for Dishnet to try and get three runs. That cutter, tough to hit. We got an 0-1. A fastball in. Fouls that off. And now we've got the 0-2. Here comes... Yeah, there it is. We've got a hit uh, to Fund who pulls that in. And now Kanegi 3. Pink mood Kanegi 3. Gets a bit too excited on that slow curve. Swings through it. 0-1. Here comes a pitch. Tough to get to that fastball with the power swing. Pretty intimidating to see that tiny little PCI. Able to hit the shoot ball. Looks like Benjamin's is going to get there. Throws it over. That's out too. Silver still dealing with the with the one hitter. Here comes Kanegi. 28. Goes for the power swing. Swings over the top of it. Trying to make something happen here. Right back at it. Same location. What are we going to see? Do we see it three in a row? Does Pump do three in a row here? No, he doesn't. Slow curve. And we've got a 0-2. Now I feel like we will see that pitch again. That hard little cutter. High inside. Silver will run it over himself. And we now have the 7th all wrapped up. So moving on to the 8th. Kanegi still dealing. Uh, swing at the first pitch by Wage. And Kanegi 3 will be there. And that will be out number 1. Fund. See if Fun swings early. No, that ball's uh, quite low. Here comes the slow curve. Pump hasn't offered too much at this slow curve unless it's really been in the zone, but that'll be a strike for 1-0. Kanegi 3, of course, has strong finisher active right now uh, as long as the strikeout and iron ball here with these 1-2. Pump's going to watch it drift wide. We got 2-2 two -two to Fun. Slow curve ball. Will he chase it? He hits it pretty well, but Kanegi 5 is, is right there. He got a he got a good good little piece of it, but not all of it. So now we got five hitter stocks up to the plate. I don't know if Kanegi 3 is going to be ready to go here in the ninth. Pumps definitely got his eye on the stamina here. Swings at a what looks like a sinker. Just the middle away on top of it. Here comes the change up. I think that'll drop. It will. Stocks will get in there. Or I think maybe their second or third hit this game. And now Silver coming up to the plate. Look, peep that stamina by Kanegi 3. I think we might see Pump just wait it out until we see a pitch that, you know, he quite likes. Oh, wow. Boy, was I wrong. He swings at a questionable pitch. Pops out here. Bails Kanegi 3 out of that. But I don't know if we're going to see Kanegi 3 here in the ninth. So Silver back on here in the bottom of eighth. So Dish hasn't really picked up. Uh, maybe he mentally has picked up on Pump's tendencies. Uh, but he's not cheating the PCI. He's staying true to his game of just reading and reacting. And that will be one out with Kanegi 22 coming up to the plate. Vertical slider just on top of that. Got to it late. Didn't want to take a hack at it. Another one. Looks like Benjamins will, will run up the line, make that play. We've got two outs. Things are looking bleak for all Kanegis here, but maybe a victory to only hold them to three runs. Um, but very similar to the Braza Sport Valley High game. Not too much hits on the Kanegi side, so that will be out number three. Moving into the ninth. So Kanegi comes out with just a sliver of stamina. Pump switches over to gold. It sounds like Dish is thinking about, should I let him get a base runner? First pitch fastball will be 0-1. Kanegi's maybe got a couple pitches left in her. That's going to be strike two. Here comes three. Going to be a low inside changeup. And that will not sneak through. Kanegi 28 pulls it in now for Benjamin. So, yep. Dish now knows uh, the Kanegi 3 experiment uh, is over just right now. Thinking about what to pull in. F fastball life. They got the OB 365 pitcher. Kanegi 21 is going to come in. The righty. 152 kilometer per hour, C control, C stamina. And now we've got the legend of bread coming in. 818 batting average. Let's see what bread can do. B contact, B power. There's the first pitch, the ball. Underneath the split finger for a 1-1. One, one. Here comes a slow curve. And bread will just get underneath it, but Kanegi 23 will pull that in for out. 
number two. So Kaneki 21, trying to just get out of this one real quick, just trying to let loans, put it in play, and then worry about going and hitting. Here comes the second pitch, Shudo. He gets a, a, a hit underneath it, but Kanegi 5 is there. Sails it to the moon to home. And now we go, bottom nine. So the one hit so far is all they've been able to muster up against Silver. And now they're going to have to do a whole lot here. Wad comes in at third. And here comes Silver. Fighting spirit active. Strong finisher active. Let's see what they can do here. 01 vertical slider. 02 with the fastball. And let's see if Kanegi 3 is able to lay off the vertical slider a little bit inside here. Let's see what's next here. Fastball not able to get to that. And that will be out number one. So trying to make a, a, a switch here. Kanegi 32 has got the pinch hitter ability. Going to come in and get that extra boost. Okay, so he's ready. He's looking for that pitch. So Dish Dish now is cheating. He knows that Pump's going to hit him inside because he's been doing that all game. Uh, but maybe maybe Pump sensed that and goes with the outside shootout. Here comes the cutter. That probably was a ball. Silver will run it over himself, and that is two outs. Comes down to Kanegi 4 for the final at bat. Big hack at a vertical slider for strike one. Slow curve. I think he might get a hit here. He will not. Fund is able to get on their horse, pull it in, and that is the end of the game. I pump plastic to cash money high, take down Dishnet 34. I mean, oops, all Kanegi's. A pretty good game, but of course, Silver, very tough to take down. Player of the game. Silver got a couple of hits uh, and then also only gave up that one run. I'm not too sure how many strikeouts. We will look at the box score. To see how he really did 10 hits to one cash money gets that three runs here uh, off those 10 hits the one hit specifically for oops all Kanegi. so looking looking at the box score for them looks like Kanegi four was the only one uh to get that hit three strikeouts though that's a you know good little little job uh Kanegi three eight and a third 34 uh, batters face 10 hits two strikeouts now let's take a look at uh, over at the cash money side with those 10 hits big performance by stocks three for four fun goes two for four silver two for three looks like two strikeouts on pump side the three rbis two rbis for benjamin silver goes the distance 84 pitches only that one hit and 3k silver really showing why he is one of the better pitchers in this entire competition all right guys that's going to do it for this one this was a very good game another pitcher's battle i really hope that dish would be able to figure silver out but silver just looks too tough so uh well i can't wait for the next one here so until then we'll see you peace